So a few of you out there have kind of chosen the topic for this video, and the topic is on an outlet, how to make one of the plugs hot all the time, and how to make the other plug operated by a switch. And if you haven't already, I would recommend going and watching my electrical basics video, as it kind of lets you know how a lot of these devices work and how circuits work, and I think it'll really help you to understand how the circuit's gonna work in this particular case. So the circuit I'm gonna show you is really common in older houses. So maybe you've been over to grandma's house and you notice that she doesn't have any ceiling lights, but you can flip on a switch and somehow the lamp in the corner of the room will turn on. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna be showing you is how the wiring actually works in that circuit. So now how the circuit works with grandma's lamp over in the corner is you have your breaker. Your breaker powers your outlet. Your outlet sends power to the switch. Your switch then sends power back to the outlet and then the outlet powers the lamp over in the corner. So you notice on the side of an outlet there's this little bridge between the two screws and you'll see that it's on the neutral side as well as the hot side. So what makes this circuit work is we can remove this little bridge between these two screws and separate our hot wires and make this circuit work. We don't have to do anything with the neutrals, just on the hot side. And so to remove that little brass bridge, you'll just grab some needle nose pliers or something like that and just work the metal back and forth and it'll just break off, breaking apart the brass that makes these two screws connected. So in your panel box, you're gonna have all of your breakers in the middle and then you're gonna have bus bars along the side. So the bus bars are where you're going to connect your ground wires and your white neutral wires. Of course, this is a piece of poster board, so I'm gonna use blue for my neutral wire. And then your black wire is gonna hook up to your breaker. Now a regular outlet, it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna have your black wire come over, hook up to your outlet. Your ground wire is gonna come over to your ground screw. And your neutral wire is going to come over to your silver screws. Right now, this entire outlet's hot if the breaker's on. But let's go ahead and break that brass bridge. So now what we have is we have power coming into the gold screw. It's not connected right now because there's no device power uh, plugged into the outlet. So it's not powering anything. So technically the circuit's broken, but then you have your neutral wire going back up to your bus bars. So as soon as you would plug a lamp or a toaster or whatever in and turn it on, now you've completed the circuit because now the power goes into the gold screw, out this terminal, over to your device, and then the neutral on your device comes back to the neutral here, and then out of the, gold, or out of the silver screw, and then back over to your panel. But now we're gonna get a little crazy here because we want this switch to power this port of the outlet because when we plug in this lamp, we wanna get power from this outlet here to the switch, back to this outlet, over to our light. So we'll do the easiest thing first. We'll come off from our Romex that's going to go up to our switch, and we'll come over here, and we'll wire nut this together. Then we'll take our ground wire and connect it to the screw on the switch. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna run our black wire over to our other black wire and make a pigtail here. So this would be wire nutted. So what you'll have, and I guess I should have mentioned this here too, what you're gonna have is about a six inch piece of wire that comes out and you'll pigtail these wires together. So technically there's three wires. Same thing here. There's the wire, the hot wire that's coming in from the breaker there is your black wire that's coming in from a piece of Romex that's going to the switch, and then there's about a six inch piece of wire coming off from the screw, and you're gonna wire nut it all together. Then, of course, because black wires go on these gold screws, we're gonna take 
a black wire and we're going to connect it to one of our screws. So this is the point in the video where you've watched my electrical basics video and you're like, hey idiot, you only have a white wire left. You don't have another black wire to put on the gold screw. But this is where you make this white wire a hot wire. So you're going to take your white, your neutral wire, and you're going to connect it up to this other screw. And you're going to take this white wire and you're going to connect it up to this screw. So at this point, hopefully we can all agree that at least this top portion of the outlet, this top outlet of the receptacle of the outlet receptacle is hot, right? All the time. We already know that because we have our black wire coming in that makes this screw hot, which makes this portion of the outlet hot. And then we have our neutral going back. So we already know that this is always going to work if we plug something into it. So now what about the bottom outlet? The, the bottom outlet will only work if the switch is on, so it makes contact between these two screws. So let's follow the path here with this outlet. So we have the hot wire coming over. It doesn't make this screw hot because we took out the bridge, but now the power is gonna continue on through the black wire up and over to our switch. Brentley turns the switch on, makes contact between these two screws. Now this white wire is now hot. And now we've just made this screw over here hot. So now, essentially with this light switch being on, both of these outlets are now hot. So of course the outlet would be in a box, the switch would be in a box. This extension cord coming in, I just have it plugged into an outlet, but this is gonna simulate the panel box. And of course, here's my lamp. Let's plug it into the first outlet. So here's the lamp on, plugged into the first outlet. And now I'm gonna plug in the lamp to the second outlet on the receptacle, just to show you that it isn't working. But then grandma's all like, oh, hey, Brettley, be a deer and turn on the lamp, will you? And then I'm all like, sure, Nan, anything for you. So then I, boom, turn on the switch, lamp comes on. So I just had to do that kind of at a distance, just to make sure you knew that wasn't all smoke and mirrors. But this is basically how this is working. You flip the switch, which would be up on the wall, but you flip the switch, it makes the one outlet in the receptacle hot, where the other receptacle is always hot. The very last thing that I want to mention in this video is that if you use this kind of a setup, it's imperative that you put black electrical tape on the white wire that's actually carrying the current. So even though the black wire and the white wire carry current. The black wire is carrying current to the devices. The white wire is carrying the current back to your panel box. Even though that's the case, you need to let somebody know that you basically made the white wire a current carrying wire where you're actually supplying current to the device, not just running current back. So black electrical tape wrapped around the neutral wires neatly is what you're looking to do. So for those of you who are asking how this type of circuit would work, I hope that answered all your questions. And please don't forget that we have an electrical playlist that has all kinds of electrical videos and hopefully something in there would help you answer questions to your project. We're so grateful for everyone to support our channel and thanks for watching.